officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Bobby Celso. Second referee, Mr. Ryan Vincent Corpus. Let's call on our starting lineup from our F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. Let's begin with our team captain. She wears jersey number two, Abigail Marano. At number three, Ivy Keith Luxina. Wearing jersey number four, Victonara Galang. At number eight, Jolina De La Cruz. Number nine is Kim Fajardo. And number 16, Mary Joy Dacoron. Starting libero is number five, Dawn Nicole Makandili Katendik. Head coach, Miss Regine Diego. Calling on our Petrogas Angels. Let's begin with Jersey. Number two, Janelle Welch Cheng. At number five, Gretchel Sultanes. We're in Jersey. Number eight, Isa Maizo Pontilias. Number nine, Mary Remy Joy Palma. At number 16, Rania Musa. And number 20, Jonna Sabete. Starting libero, number 22, Baby Love Barbon. Head coach, Mr. Timmy Santo Tomas. Here are your starters. Start any way to watch the PVL via the Filipinas live app for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for 149 pesos as we take a look at the starters for the F2 Logistics. Uh, as mentioned by Jaime, Majoy Baron will be uh, suiting up for this match due to back spasm. So, uh, Joy Dacoron will take her spot at the middle blocker position. Meanwhile, for the Petrogas Angels, you have the usual starters para kay coach Timothy Santo Tomas. Now, Dip, earlier we talked about how what is the strategy, and I said to you, the gauge is who will be the better setter today. We have the number one blocking team, F2, and then Pedro Gassa, number two. So I'm curious as what their game plan is today. Well, we'll see that matchup. Uh, we'll take a look at the matchup between Janelle Cheng and Kim Fajardo as we welcome you all to our coverage on Pilipinas Live, One Sports, and on One Sports Plus, Dip Dip Yanko, alongside Jamie La Vitoria. Calling this match, and our courtside reporter is Jaime Escalon, who will get give us the updates and reports later on. And a quick start for F2 with that first point. And the fact that um, Majoy Baron is not playing today will be a huge factor because she not only helps in the offense, but in terms of the be uh, having uh, blocking. At right, the net. right. Majoy Baron, of course, uh, a best middle blocker in that uh, last invitational conference. Yep. So definitely F2 is going to miss her services. And on the other side of the net is uh, Remy Palma, who was also a best middle blocker That's right. in our first All-Filipino Conference this year. So you will be robbed off of that matchup uh, tonight, <laughs> no? Yep. We're looking forward to that. I'm sure the fans also. And Palma... Able to get that point. You do not want to be giving free balls to Palma. She will explode there. Let me guess. Have to use up Yeah, she knows. Know. She can hear us. She can hear us. So back to back points for the Angels to take the lead, two to one. Fajardo will back set to Jolina De La Cruz. Had to adjust. Cheng goes middle back to Palma. But Indig was there. And the dig for Soltones. Dawn again for the pickup. They go to De La Cruz. Kept alive. Barbon will set up the play. Back to attack. Easy pickings for Fajardo. Jolina again for the attack. Long rally ongoing. Sabete unable to get it. Laxina will try. Soltones. It's a back and forth action. And Ivy Laxina ends that long rally. Going down the line, Laxina using her smarts and going down the line. And dip, I have to give credit to both teams. They thrive on counterattack, so it's really important to stay stable in defense. Right, so uh, 
quick start here for both teams. Ayo waga pahulog ng bola. Yep. We mentioned at the top of the coverage, Jamie, that these are the two best floor uh, defend yep. the de defensive teams, number one and number two, in digging and receiving. <laughs> so the spikers really have to outsmart their block. Yep. Just like that. <laughs> so, so far, Pama doing a good job as we send this to Jaime Escalon for this report. Jaime? Dip and Jamie, you know, I had a chance to talk to Coach Red about Aragalang before today's game. And there is a really feeling that Aragalang will be in top-tier form this conference. We actually saw flashes of it last conference, but he said that flashes lang. This, this season, it's more of consistency. Coach Red also said that you know, many give up to Aragalang. But it was her who never gave up on herself, and look where she is now. Watch Ara play on the Filipinas Live app for one, as low as 149 pesos a month. Dip and Jamie? Thank you, Jaime, for that report. It's nice to hear that uh, from Coach Regine Diego. Of course, it's it's tough when people uh, doubt okay. your skills, but Aragala never gave up. And look at her performance last game. I know, against Galleries, three sets. And, you know, she's coming from injury also. And having that mental toughness, it's yeah. not the easiest. And it's always about that journey. And you could see in her game today that... The peak form is almost there. It says a lot about her character as well. Talking about Ara Galang. Meanwhile, F2 will be the one to serve here as Joy Dacoron. Oh, sir, position is three serving four here in the first set. Dacoron, one of the new additions of F2 this conference. One two play, read perfectly. It's sent back to the Petrogas side. They go to Musa. Fajardo is there. Laxina with the adjustment. But Musa able to save it. Sabetino is denied. <laughs> the blocking of F2. It's important that the Angels cover. We keep mentioning this. The blocking. They're currently number one in blocking. And take a look at this. Pressed on the net. No coverage on the side of the Angels. That was Abby Maraño denying the attack of Jonas Sabete. And they tie this game up at 4 all. Back set to Maizo Pontilias. Maraño checked by Musa. Uh, there was a... a touch. Oh, so that's three straight points now for F2 to take the lead here in uh, set number one. I have to give credit to the Angels dip. They have perfect reception right now, and Cheng is able to maximize and utilize all her spikers. You know, Petrogas Angels, they are number one in terms of receiving. Yep. Meanwhile, Rania Musa with a powerful hit ties this game up at 5 all. For that a quick attack, like I said, with that perfect receive, Cheng really maximizing on her middle blockers because the pins, those are the best blockers of the opposite side. And it makes life easier yep. for Janelle Cheng. So after the three to three point run by F2, Petruga is able to swing in back to back points. With another lead change here in the early goings of set number one. And Dilias with a serve. Fajardo goes back row to De La Cruz. You know, and that's the first time that Kaf went for that back row attack on the first attack. And she's really avoiding the pin blockers. Take a look at this type attack. Ranya was kind of late in that block. Right. Ivy Laxina serving for F2, the top scorer for the cargo movers, can also do it <laughs> by the service line. And this is her third position this year, middle blocker, open, and now opposite. So she can do everything, maybe next conference setter. <laughs> Talk about the versatility of yep. Ivy Laxina. Setting, setting na lang yung kulang, eh, no? Well, why not, as she heads back to the service line with another lead change here, seven serving six. Nice serve. Cheng ups it. Sabete. Down it goes for Jonas Sabete. Cheng is maximizing on her blockers of Kaf and Maranya. Great swing by Sabete. What a pass, though, from a baby love barbo. That's right. Perfect receive. 
and in between the blocks. It's been a welcome addition for the Petrogas Angels after playing for the Photon Tornadoes last conference. That one is long for Sabete. So the lead swings back to F2. There's going to be a lot of this, uh, Jamie. We talked about how close these teams are yes. on paper. We talked about this earlier. <laughs> and again, their last uh, matchup, the last time they saw each other on the court was back in July 13 in the Invitational Conference. That ended in a five-setter. At yung isang set pa dun, we, it ended in 51 minutes <laughs> because F2 won that set 35 to 33. So mahilig sa mga matataas na scores. That's right. Itong parehong teams. And long rallies too, but another... That touch at least. Mm, it, that's twice now it's happened to Petrogaz. Now it's important that both squads minimize on the unforced errors. See, Gretchen Sultan is... The net as she's going down to block. On the way down there. And this allows F2 to have some breathing room. 9 to 7. That's a good ace. Para kay Ara Galang. That is a rare error on the side of Gretchel Sultanes. And mind you, they always try and tar target Gretchel to tie her out. To eliminate her attacking chances. Yes. No? If Laxina is the leading scorer for F2, it's Gretchel Soltones leading the way for the Angels. The tip does not work. Laxina from the back. Popped up by Maizo Pontillas. The running spike for Rania Musa. And you see the strategy of Cheng maximizing on the left pin of F2. And Rania Musa, that is actually her specialty, the running attack. Not too high, not too low, but set perfect on the net. He has been a steady part of this uh, Petrogaz rotation. Laxina again from the back. Stepping, I believe. Yep. On Ivy Laxina. Good eye you have there, Jamie. <laughs> Called it before, yep. I need a challenge to see you. Can Jamie? It's a one-point lead for the cargo movers. Make that two, courtesy of Jolina de la Cruz. We did talk about her in the pre-game dip. I covered her games in the UAP and just seeing her growth and maturity, being with alongside a lot of vets, she's completely matured in her game. You covered their last game, I believe, in uh, Candon Ilocos yes. Tour last Saturday. Yes, and she scored in double digits. She had 11 points. Same with uh, Soltones, the matchup we are looking at. Meanwhile, Joy Dacoron making the most of her minutes here in the absence of Major Baron. And Fama was already trapped. Joy Dacoron was able to read that easily. And she knows she has to step up today because yeah. Majoy is not on the court. Soltones. Returned by Abby Marano. They go to Palma. Abby again was there. But this is going to be a chance ball. Cheng chooses Soltones. And Grecia puts it away. Grecia, her classic cross court attack, avoiding the hands of the blockers of F2. They have the receive. And Cheng, whether the, the, the dig is far, she's able to reverse that set easily. Perks of having one of the best setters in the league. Right. She was the only one who was able to avoid uh, Maranio. Yes. Oh, nice play. Tagoron again. Does he need the power? Just the right positioning on that attack for Joy Tagoron. Which sends us to the first tech.
experience a new way to feel the heart of volleyball. Watch every set spike big and block live in HD and on demand anytime, anywhere, and on any device via Filipinas Live app. Download and register now. So far, F2 holding on to a three-point lead over the Petrogas Angels. They are looking to be the first team to put that uh, mark on the spotless performance of Petrogas who haven't dropped a single set yes. this conference, Jamie. And you can tell that by their movements, very fluid, they definitely prepared for these matches today. It's been, it's been an up and down uh, year for them. They were the first runners up in our first all Filipino conference this year and then last invitational they dropped down to ninth place so very uncharacteristic of the angels who are usually at top half of the standings and Pama did mention in the pre-game that they have not reached their goal and these players have been playing in the PBL for the past years and having that growth mindset and that one goal that's it's very honorable as a player. And I remember uh, back then, G Sayat had that heart to heart in one of our features. Having a Mangatalawang Championship Pagusin Bago Magretire. So maybe they're looking for that other championship soon for Petrogas. Meanwhile, F2 serving, but Fajardo sends that long and the lead is down to two. That technical timeout. Sometimes that ices the circle. It will be Soltones serving 11 to 13. Fajardo, one hand set, medyo mababa for Tacoron. And back to back points for Petrogas. A little too low. Petrogas slowly creeping in on the F2 logistics after that timeout. Fajardo back sets. Oh, De La Cruz able to get that one. And that set was actually too close to the net, and she was able to adjust to that. And normally, it will be an instant net touch, but you see how it's too close, but with her leap, going for that cross-court attack. And it will be De La Cruz heading to the service line for F2. Oh, good serve. Sultanes. Had to go around Barbon, a chance for F2. They go to Laxina, and Ivy finds the spot. And I said this earlier, you can't be giving F2 free balls because F2 is a team that thrives on counter-attack. Look at Laxina, towering over the block and going in the... And you can see the adjustment in her spike, and she's actually going for that long ball attack. Nobody home on that zone Nobody one. there, yeah. Back to a three-point lead for the cargo movers. De La Cruz continues to serve. Cheng chooses Sabete. Sabete will score off the block. Sabete being one of the vets on the team. Cheng needed to get that side out because the, the F2 logistics were slowly gaining that momentum. And she's really been a good support to uh, yes. Soltones and yes. Maizo Pontillas through the conferences for the Angels. Palma had those two quick points. We have so many weapons on the side of the Angels. Mm -hmm. A lot of weapons. Musa. Katindig was there. Cheng. Goes to Sabete. What a hit for Jonas Sabete. You know, Cheng's sets are very deceiving. I mean, the F2 logistics. Take a look. Lexina had no idea who she was going to go to. And when you go for that, you got to aim for that down the line. She could build on the confidence right now, Jonas Abete. Smart play. Just down to a one-point lead in Palma. Looking who to target. Nice serve. Fajardo upset. Laxina is denied. Guess by who? Jonas Abete. <laughs> Jonas Abete being the number two blocker. Ivy Laxina being the number one blocker. Perfect formation on the blocking of Jonas Abete. That's right, Laxina has nine kill blocks so far in the conference, and that's the eighth for Jonas Abete, right behind Ivy. De La Cruz for the coverage. Laxina tried to change her attack. Sabete again, cut shot. Fajardo. Cheng, back to Sabete, the offhand. Fajardo with the pickup. Laxina goes up. Galang for the coverage. She goes up. 
And that is wide for Aragala. You know, that's the right idea by Gala going for that down the line. She knew that there was an open spot in the defense, but got to give credit. Did expect a lot of rallies yeah. <laughs> in this match. It's only the first set. <laughs> and, and I guess it will be down to who is the more patient team, yes. right? That's right. And who will make those in-game adjustments faster. Petrogaz takes the lead, 16 to 15. Laxina with coverage by Katindig. High free ball. Soltonis. Cheng back sets Maizu Pontilias down the line. Perfect free ball, perfect set to Cheng. Cheng and Aiza have mastered that chemistry. And if you look at her set dip, it's not the highest. It actually looks like a running attack set. And she's able to go for that down the line. Usually with the, with the right hand, the set is a little bit higher. Right. But Aiza, her approach is explosive and she's left-handed. Right. So it, it works. It's to her advantage. <laughs> Oh, Palma. That one is uh, too long for Remy Palma. And it will be F2 serving courtesy of Joy Dacoron. 16 serving, 17 here in set number one. Oh. That is also a long serve for Damoron, so they give back the point to Petrogas. You know, if we're reaching the 20 mark, it's really important to minimize those unforced errors. Each error is uh, crucial. crucial, right? At, the, at this part of the set, Fajardo goes to Laxina. What a dig by Maizu Pontilla. Sabete almost breaking the block. Musa goes for it and gets it. And Musa, she is on a roll today, and it's only the first set. Yeah, this will prompt coach Regine Diego to call for time as we listen in. Okay, kaya tingko mo na puntos girls. Normal lang, normal lang na nababalakan. Kailangan lang magcover. Si Ivy pa ibutin mo sa niyo para makontra siya mo lang. Tapos comments yan. Kaya tingko puntos may back row ka pa. Okay, lang siya. Coach Reg talking to her squad about timing the block perfectly dip and she told them not to rush. Yeah. Right? They are down just three points. It's important to stay patient and the Petrogas Angels currently are on a seven to one run. It was about time for Coach Reg to call for time. She needed that. To she stop that. Uh, this one. Let's see how they will respond. Fajardo goes to Galang. And that is out. Very close, very close. <laughs> Everyone held their breaths there for a second. So, good timeout by Coach Reg as F2 able to stop the bleeding. They are down by two points. And it's Ivy Laxina on deck to serve. Cheng goes to Sabete. That is short for Jonah Sabete. No, and Jonah was going for that sharp cross court attack, but just. That execution needs to be worked on in that rally. It's down to a one-point lead for Petrogas Angels. It's crunch time. Yep. One-point game. Laxina with a serve. Barbon picks it up. Chen goes to Musa. And that one didn't go over as well. So we are at another deadlock, 19 all. I believe Petrogas will call a block touch mm. on that A quick attack by Musa. Oh, oh, let's see. Do we need to, to see it or do we just ask you, Jamie? Uh, from, <laughs> from what I saw. <laughs> <laughs> not, I, not I'd rather not. <laughs> Oh, 
So there was there a... There was a block touch. Was that what you were going to say? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> but it was too quick, right? It was too fast. But the... Uh, Randy Musa is too quick so for that, my eyes. So yep. that point... So this will be replayed because the challenge for Petrogaz was successful. That's the first challenge, I believe, in this first set. Mm. Good eyes on the part of the Petrogaz coaching staff. So it's still 18 to 19. Nice serve. Cheng. Sabete. De La Cruz for the pickup. Galang with the approach. Sabete again, the off speed. Fajardo. Chance for Petrogaz. Musa with a running spike. Get another point. Cheng maximizing Rania Musa. And take a look at the block around the other side dip. We have Ara Gala. I mean, she is one of the best blockers in the league, but she's really maximizing on the height of Ara. That's right. She's towering over the white shirts and celebrates that point. Why not? Because Petrogaz is at the 20 point mark. Fajardo. Sultones with a great reaction, and then Musa again. The impact of Musa, that eight quick attack, and it's not always about power dip, but placement as well. You see her with that eight quick attack, and Sultones reading the one two play of Kaf. Smart move. Oranya Musa had six points in that uh, last game against Next Led. And tonight, she's already got six. Wow. We're only in the first set. <laughs> so on pace to score more than her last performance. <laughs> Meanwhile, Shola Alvarez now in the game for F2. Cheng goes back row to Sabete. The dive by Katindig. Alvarez will attack. Sultones pops it up. She will attack. La Cruz at the right spot. Alba will now set for F2. And they get the point. I believe the ref called a net touch on the side of the Angels. We saw Soltones quickly telling uh, her coaches. No net touch. Oh, you don't need to come out. So let's see. So far, they are successful. They were successful in their first challenge on that block touch. Perks of having the challenge system, it also acts as a timeout because the coaches and players could actually talk to one another now. Right. Because there's only one timeout yes. per set, so you gotta do what you gotta do. Yep. Let's see on this replay. That touch is what they are challenging. Sultones. Ooh. Her jersey. Very close call. Yep, that, Good eye. That raised the net right there. She may have not felt it, but her jersey did. Yeah. <laughs> But you mentioned, Jamie, na hindi lang naman na to challenge that call, but also acts as a break for a them. Time, yep, a timeout. Two points ang hinahabol ng F2. It's back with him. Alba sets up the play. De La Cruz. Cheng. Oh, tough set. And there is a buzzer sounded in the middle of the play. A touch. But this time it's F2's turn to call for a challenge. It was started on that off-balance set by Cheng, where things got a bit rocky for both teams. That's right, she had a difficult time because the dig was too close to the net.
their floor defense. Not to allow any ball to fall on their court. Now it's crunch time dip. I mean, the score is 19-21. Let's see, see here with the challenge. No net touch. Yeah, clearly no net touch. I think it was just the ball. So, unsuccessful challenge for F2. Point goes to Petrogas. Yep. And this, uh, at this part of the set, malaki na yung three-point lead, yes. Jamie. Because we saw how this uh, first set went or has been going and being a vet team when I when I had covered their game last week Cheng really maximized on her vets on, when they reached to the 20 mark she maximized on Sultanes and uh, the other and Palma as well you, you have all the vets and weapons on your team you got to go to the the players that have that experience right and, and you said that she has mastered that connection yes. with her teammates. The majority of uh, Cheng and also some of her teammates also went international this yes. year, right? To, to see action and play for the Philippines. The receive was a little too tight from Mars Alba. That was a crucial point. Free ball given to, a free point rather, given to the Angels. I believe this is the biggest lead of the set so far. But Musa's serve is short. And her reaction is the cutest. She's smiling. <laughs> they can afford to have that there. Yes. They're up by three still. They have some cushion here. Well, F2 has to be flawless here towards the end of set number one. Nice serve. Cheng had to run after that. Sabete. A bit too long. Will they call a challenge? I don't think so on that back row attack by Sabete. Lack of wrist action. Right idea though and going for that long ball. Marano continues to serve. Another good one for Abby. Sultanes with the approach. Somebody touched the net. Net the touch. Front. Yep, on the side of F2. I believe Alvarez of F2. And just like that, Petrogaz is at set point. Chang maximizing on her blocker here, Alvarez. So errors hurting F2 towards, towards the end. Part. Almost over received. Oh. I think that could have been out. That could have been out, dip. But when you're going, running to the ball, you're in that motion, it's, adrenaline. It's hard to read. Which coach Timmy understands. Very calm coach. <laughs> so far. <laughs> so far. That's right, so far. Oh, but Don Katim Dig seems like she is uh in pain. Yep. We'll probably get an update on that later on as Alvarez will try to save the set for F2. Petrogaz will go for the finish. Galang with a save. Alba, it's still good. Kept alive by the cargo movers. But Sultanis finishes set number one. I said this earlier. Cheng will maximize on her vets. Retro Sultanis powering through the block of F2. Good effort on the part of F2, but better offense for the Petrogas Angels. And they take the first set over the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. Set two when we return.
New streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app, available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for as low as 149 pesos. Set number one just finished with the Petrogas Angels taking that one over F2 Logistics 25 22. What did we see there, uh, Jamie, in the first set for both teams? Well, we saw a seesaw battle between both squads. Chang distributing the ball evenly, and she's very much avoiding the hands of Ivy Lexina, who is currently the best blocker of the league. And it came down to the small details toward the end. F2, they struggled a bit with the service received. They have two instances where the receiver is two on the net for Mars Alpha. And you, you did notice Don yeah. also in pain, so hope everything is okay on that side. Right. Uh, but you, you talked about the reception of Petrogas, which proves your point because Perfection. Rania Musa is the leading scorer so far for the Angels with six points. We take a look at the set one numbers first and how that one went for both teams. Now with attacks, Petrogas was dominant. Nine versus 13. Three blocks on the side of Petrogas, two on F2, and... What is not shown on the screen dip is the timing of the airs, the timing of the yep. blocks, the timing of the aces, and those are the moments where your team will gain that momentum. And, uh, Petra or lose momentum. And Petrogas is taking advantage of that momentum, uh, not letting that set slip away from them. But again, uh, it's been excellent passing for the Angels. The number one receiving team. If your middle blocker is your leading scorer, chances are you know that they've been passing the ball pretty well. Yes, and it's perfect to Chang. She's not running around too much, and because of that, she's able to set her middles more. Great production mm -hmm. by Rania Musa and Remy Palma. Yep. For Palma, she's got a couple of points. Right behind Musa is Sabete with five. Soltones also with two. And Maizo Pontillas with one. So even the leading scores of Petra has not even scoring a lot yet for the Angels. As we welcome you all to set number two here on Filipinas Live, One Sports and on One Sports Plus. Dip the Biambo with Jamie LaVitoria calling this match. And Jaime Escalon bringing us the updates and reports from the sidelines. Para naman sa F2, it's uh, Laxina and De La Cruz, both with four points. Not enough, though, from that first set. And normally, Ivy Laxina is their number one scorer. Sabete. Barbon for the coverage. This will be Laxina. And Petrogaz with a chance to set up their play. They go to Palma, who just dumps it right in the middle. Now, Dave, we did talk about how... You know, I was curious on what the strategy of Chang is, and you can see that she's very much maximizing the middle blockers. And because of that, Ivy Laxina, who is the number one blocker, is having to move, but she's she's kind of late in most of the rallies. That's why it's a two to nothing start for Petrogaz. Barbon will chase, saving that one. And Maizo Pondilias will give up a high free ball. De La Cruz able to get a point for F2. Have to give credit to Marano actually being that decoy of that rally. Jolina De La Cruz targeting that down the line. Well, credit that effort though for Barbon. But you're right, eliminating uh, Palma in the sequence. Ito si Marano and De La Cruz does the rest. <laughs> De La Cruz now taking over the scoring department for F2. She has five points to her name. Sabete. That's still good. It's back with the black shirts. Maiza Pontilias down the line. It works. I mean, talk about that moves. Maiza going for that classic down the line. And because she's left-handed, it's very deceiving. You don't know if she's going for that cross-court attack. I mean, fooling the defense pattern of F2. Mm. And Palma, she's currently the best server in the league. Right. Steady service. Look at that. Steady service. Giving uh, Andal a tough time off the bench. And the number one digger for Petrogaz, Gretchel Soltonis, is able to save that one. 
Sabete kept alive by F2, batter at the net. Musa keeps it alive. F2 will set up the play. Fajardo to Galang. No, that is wide. He's going for that sharp cross court attack, but too wide in that rally. You have to give credit to the defense of the Petrogas Angels. They are getting everything. You can see that they prepared for this match, staying low on defense. And this is what I call, you know, the mastering the familiarity. Mm. <laughs> Petrogas getting that point, 4-1. to one. De La Cruz. Cheng. And that's going to be a point for F2. Sabete showing her flexibility. <laughs> Surprising Laxina as we get the support from Jaime Ascalon. Jaime? Dip and Jamie, you guys were wondering what happened to Don Makandili Katindig. Well, she did bump her left knee with her teammate and sabi nga niya na she's okay. She was giving a thumbs up and she was smiling. All the physical therapist did was to retape it. And we'll see if Coach Reg decides to put her back here in set number two. Dip and uh, Jamie? Thank you, Jaime, for that update. Uh, good to know that she is fine and we hope to see her back on the floor. And yeah, that's not... Uh, and that is quite painful, Jamie. Very right? painful. Especially with the momentum. Very close first set. <laughs> right now it will be Andal as the libero for F2. Or Musa. That's going to be two, two touches for Ivy Laxina, which means another point for Petrogas. That's back-to-back -back points from Musa. Prior to the sequence, she went for that strong A-quick a quick attack, and then she went for that tip just recently. And Cheng is giving her no blocker dip because they have received. Kaya nagiging bukas eh, no? yes. attacks ng Petrogas. Maiza Pontilias asking for it. Andal bumps it to Galang. And that one is into the stands. And F2 gets the point. That's a great swing by Galang, targeting that zone 5 zone. Long ball attack. Barbon was actually there to get it. Gretchen was just too eager to get everything. That's <laughs> <laughs> number one digger yeah, for, yeah. for Petrogaz. She is number four in the league, but leading the way for Petrogaz. She wants to be up there in the, the rankings. Oh, look, among the liberos yeah. here. Come on. <laughs> Why not, right? She, yep. she has uh, done exceptionally well in the attacking. She wants to up her defense. Maximize it, yep. Stats as well. Laxina serving for F2, 4-6 to six here in set number two. Nice serve. And a chance for F2. Dakaron unable to take advantage. Sabete. Andal able to reach it. Not the cleanest, though. And it will be a point for Petrogas. Si Cheng maximizing the blocker on her other side. Kaf. A lot of her sets have been going to their left pin. And that just goes to show how smart of a setter Cheng is. She really looks at her blockers on the other side. Goes back row this time to Sabete. Barbon able to chase. Fajardo. One hand set to Galang. Musa again with a tip. And it drops for Rania Musa. With that running attack, very scrappy defense on the side of the Angels. And... Mind you, Dib, the set of Cheng was already nearing on the right pin. You would think that Cheng would go for that reverse set, but you got to give it to the girl that has the hot hands. Mm, exactly. And she has been efficient in this game, talking about Rania Musa. Fajardo and Galang. F2 having a tough time. Sabete did not want Barbon to get it. Players scrambling for the loose ball. Soltones. That is outside for Sultonis. You know, during that rally, Sabeta was telling Barbon that the ball was clearly going out. But, but we did say it, you know, adre adrenaline. 
Gretchel trying to go for that down the line. But even, right. even that three wall almost got a point for yes. them. <laughs> you see uh, F2 scrambling. Scrambling. It happens a lot, and that, that's the effect of Don having to sit out yes. set number two so far. Oh, that is short again for Sultones. Back to back errors. See Miss Q with Barbon and Sultones. Sultones, rather. So it's down to a two point lead here in the second set. Aragalang with three points to her name. That is over. So just when it seemed like F2 could get something going, that turns into an error. You know, and those are the plays where, you know, you gain that momentum and then it's followed by an um, unforced error. You know, those are the times that you got to maximize on that. Yeah, because it's hard to get your groove. Yes. Palma with a check. Easy over here. Who will Cheng go to? The running Remy Palma. And that was there. Sultonis got a touch. He goes up. Better dig this time. De La Cruz with some hang time and able to get a point for F2. Even lifting by Cheng. By Palma, rather. Mm. She apologizes for that mistake. Coach Timothy Santo Tomas giving her some tips. Almost. <laughs> that looked inside. A bit too long for Zoe Tamoro. And, and they will challenge it. So that might just go to the side of F2. Let's see based on the replay. No, prior to the rallies, they were yelling at Farbon to not get the serve. But this could have been the serve that she should have gotten. <laughs> Hard to read, no? Yes. Mm, there you go. Good eye. So our eyes weren't fooling us as well. We felt yes. that that had a good chance and a successful challenge for F2 to bring the lead down to one. Joy Dakoron serving eight to nine. Cheng upset. Combination works as uh, Sultanis gets the point. So that's the first combination play that we've seen run by Chang. And Chang is confident in her receivers. Mm. And when you're confident in your receivers, you're able to elevate your plays. It's just so hard to read where Janelle Chang will distribute yes. the ball. Steady uh, receive on the side of the Angels. I have to right within distance. It's very close. Yep. Kim Fardo serving for F2. Cheng back sets. Soltones. Very close going down the line. Cheng is maximizing Jolina de la Cruz as her blocker. Soltones is a bit uh, of a struggle so far yes. in this game. She has had more unforced errors compared to her points. As you saw, Majoy Baron sitting this one out due to back spasms. Good coverage by Barbon. Chance for F2. Petrogaz this time will go to Sabete. But Galang with a touch. Laxina and Galang with a miscue. Rare miscue on the side of F2 Logistics. Usually Galang would get that so Ivy can attack. We'll see what happened there. That's uh, unfortunate play. Where the play was broken up for F2. Soltones. I serve. Fajardo goes middle. And F2 ties this game up at 11 all. That's the first clean A quick attack that we've seen from Maranio. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of uh, middle attacks for F2. 
credit to the great serving of the Angels. And it's not that their receive is giving them an ace, mm -hmm. but it's not in that setter's box perfectly where, where Tang actually is not moving too. Now speaking of aces, it will be Jolina de la Cruz getting that one in the lead for the cargo movers. But she's been that silent killer the past two matches, filling in for Myla Pablo. But that's the last of Jolina de la Cruz in her young career so far here in the pros. <laughs> Season 85 champion with De La Salle, Lady Spikers. Another good serve for De La Cruz. Cheng back sets to Maizo Pontillas. And that is outside, so F2 now has built a two-point advantage. And this sends us to the, to the technical timeout, F2 up by two. Watch men's volleyball action this 2023 as the Spiker Surf Invitational Conference gets going every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday on One Sports, One Sports Plus, and Filipinas Live. As we have reached this technical timeout, we take a look at the top hits. The spotlight on Jolina de la Cruz and Gretchen Sultones. Yeah, we did talk about them in the pregame earlier, Jolina de la Cruz. You know, she has been that silent killer for the F2 Logistics. I said this earlier, filling in for that role of Myla Pablo and Gretchen Sultones. We did say this is the healthiest she has been, but she yeah. has been silent this second set. Paliktad lang yung numbers nila, no? Six points, yes. three digs. Three <laughs> points, six digs naman on the other end uh, for Sultones. De La Cruz continues to serve well para sa F2. Although, here in set number two, Jamie... I think both teams are still trying to establish their rhythm uh, in terms of their offense. There's really moments in the game where um, it's stagnant and both teams are still trying to get that momentum. We mm. need a, one spark plug from each side. This could be it. Uh, that's back-to-back. -back. That's another ace for uh, Jolina de la Cruz. You know, Barbon is one of the new additions to the Angels. They are normally... Uh, used to having Cheng next to them, but they have to adjust with this new system of Barbon in the back mm. with them. Also with Andal on the side of F2. Right. That's definitely an adjustment. Another ace for Jolina de la Cruz. Three aces in the service trip alone. That's a great serve by Jolina de la Cruz targeting Barbon. You know, Barbon is filled with a lot of vets, right? She's one of the newbies. It's not the easiest transition. I'm sure she's under a lot of pressure, yeah. but it's crunch time. De La Cruz making a living out of that service line. Serve. This time, Barbon picks it up. Sabete. And Dal for the pickup. De La Cruz set back by Palma. Saved by F2. The push. Oh, heads up play for Remy Palma. Targeting zone one. And sometimes middle blockers, they, they tend to love, to, uh, they love to do that move. And sometimes it's not the cleanest. Mm. But, I mean, she knew that there was a hole in the block in zone one. And more than that point, finally, natapos nila yung service uh, ni Jolina de la Cruz, who had three aces. That's a lot for just one player. Right, in that, in that stint. 
Galang pumps it to Laxina. Saved by Sultones. Sabete with the attack. Andal with a better first ball. Galang. Cheng back sets Maizo Pontilias. The dive by Ivy. They go back to Maizo Pontilias who scores. It's a great swing by Aiza targeting the hands of Aragala. And Tap is continuously giving the ball to Aragala, but her attacks are not being converted into points. So far, di pa nahuhulog for Aragalang, who had 14 points. Easily read. Last game, I'm sure also na scout yan ng, F, ng yes. Petro Gaz, because they were both in Ilocos. <laughs> Hindi ba That's nahuhulog right. F2, I think, F2. right? So mm -hmm. Petro Gaz was able to witness that game. But she gets a point there with that touch. Just touching the hands of Aiza in that rally. Sixteen to thirteen. Sabete. Fajardo goes to Laxina this time. Musa was there for the touch. Maranio saving it. Fajardo sending it over. Fajardo goes back to Laxina. It trickles back to the side of F2. Galang with the attack. No. Sabete. He's a net touch by Kaf in that sequence. You know, I have to give credit to Rania Musa. She's able to get the block. Mm. So when they block, she's able to get that first contact. Right. Because normally it would be the the libero so or good, Chang, no? but she's able to get that contact and it's helping the offense of the Angels. At the quick off reaction. Yep, exactly. I was gonna say her reaction time. Very quick. Laxina touching the net in that sequence. We have Kasilag in. Elaine Kasilag seeing action for the first time in this match. Coach Regine Diego looking for a spark plug. Could be Casilla. Let's see. Cheng backs it to Musa and Rania Musa gets her 10th point. This is the strategy that Cheng had since the first set, maximizing the block of the F2 logistics. They don't want any of the touches going on Maxina, yeah. who is currently the number one blocker. 16 all. Fajardo. De La Cruz popped up by Soltones. Battle of the net. One by Janelle Cheng. That dig by Soltones was a little too tight for Cheng, but luckily she's in the front row. She's able to joust in that rally. And now the Angels are up. Yeah. Point. Fajardo goes to Galang, and Galang able to get that point. Powering through the block. See the defense on the side of the Angels. Barbon was a little bit too far back. She just needed that one step forward. Great swing. They needed that point, Jamie. To break the momentum yeah. of the Angels. 17 all. Cheng pops it up, Sabete, straight to De La Cruz. Andal goes back to Galang. This time, it's outside for Aragala. Going for that long ball, cross-court attack. Lots of wrist, wrist action in that rally. This is almost the same setup dip that we saw in the first set. Mm -hmm. Very neck and neck as we reach the 20 mark. Right, in uh, set number one, we had seven deadlocks and five lead changes. Here in set number two, four deadlocks, two lead changes. Cheng goes to the other side. So Tonis, Kasilag gets a touch on it. Cheng to Musa. 
Galang was there. Credit Ana Galang for that defense. She knew that Cheng was going to maximize Rania Musa. And I think that's the first time that it worked in that rally. Mm. She's been struggling because Rania Musa is very effective on the right pin. Ten times that uh, Rania Musa has scored. And it will be Aragalang serving for F2, 18 all. That one drops right in for Aragalang. So those are the points where, you know, just the help with the help of the net <laughs> in that round. Thank you, says Aragalang <laughs> to the net. have a three-man receive, so that's actually Gretchen Sotones who has to get that short Yeah, kaso sobrang lapit na sa net eh. This time she gets it. Medyo nabitin si Musa. De La Cruz goes up. And down it goes for Jolina De La Cruz. No, Jolina De La Cruz is now in the front row. I'm sure Kaf will maximize that. Powering through the block of the Angels. And it's not the strongest of the touch, just touching the hands of Cheng. And she celebrates that point, why not? Because F2 now at the 20 point mark. Two point lead for the cargo movers. Sultan is to the approach and she breaks the block. They need a side out and who, they, who do they go to? I mean their bed player, all around player, Gretchen Sultan They really want to eliminate F2 from gaining that momentum. Mm. that moves. <laughs> That's Gretchen Sultanis for you. Takoron. And that one is a point for F2. Palma waving off the challenge, supposedly. Do not call a challenge. Wag, <laughs> sayang. <laughs> Need to save that. Shola Alvarez back on the floor to replace Takoron. Coach Reg has really been shuffling the players yes. for her squad. Alvarez being that serving specialist, you know, that's not the easiest job to do. You're coming from the bench. You're not as warm as the players on the court, but, I mean, you have to accept your role. Yeah, you. I'm sure you've uh, been tasked to do that as many well. Many times with Coach Ty. <laughs> and many times uh, oh my did gosh. he succeed in oh that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Just put it on the court. <laughs> yeah. No need for an ace. Just get it inside. But for Palma, she just doesn't want to send it over. She wants to go get the point for Petrogas. Chang really maximizing her middle blockers. Down to a one-point game. Fajardo. Oh, tough set. Tough, tough set. And Petrogas ties this game up once again at 21 apiece. She has struggled on the first, the receive rather, on the side of F2. They are unable to score. Which is why F2 will call for time. the PBA 3x3 second conference this year every Monday and Tuesday only on One Sports PBA Russia and Filipinas Live PBA 3x3 lakas ng tatlo and both teams showing their strengths in this set based on paper we said that this was going to be a close one what will it take for either team to finish off this set number two Jamie I mean when you're reaching the 20 mark you have to stay consistent and eliminate the unforced errors and you need to have that first ball. Very key. It always starts with a pass. And a little bit of uh, luck too. With that uh, help of the net from Janelle yes. Cheng. It happened earlier with F2. F2 was looking good a while ago, but Petro guys staying composed. And are now three points away from taking a two-set advantage. Sabete able to up it. Soltones. Adjusting midair. Galang from the back row. Sabete has been... Working 
effortlessly from the back and Palma is asking for a challenge. This time, gusto niya. But Coach Timmy doesn't want, I think... Uh, Said he was out. <laughs> Remy a little too excited. <laughs> so if Remy can wave off the challenge, uh, her coach can say no yes. too. <laughs> well, we are Very crucial. at another deadlock, 22 all. Our sixth tied game here in set number two. Jolina De La Cruz gives F2 the lead. Kat will definitely maximize on Barbon because she's one of the newbies of the squad. And time out by Petrogas. Okay. Coach Timmy talking to his squad about you know you don't need to have that perfect receive, mm. but just have get it up. Yeah. And slow down the ball. You see Barbon looking a little frantic a bit because she knows that she will be the target. Yeah. First and foremost, you have to keep the ball alive. Yes. So let's see how they will respond to that timeout. Fajardo with an all-important serve. That timing of that time out of Petrogas was definitely beneficial now. Scores 23 all. Unfortunate for Kaf. But fortunate for the fans because another tie <laughs> game. 23 all. Fajardo with a one hand set. To Marano, and that is a point for F2. I just love seeing the faces of these athletes when they call a challenge. Very serious. Mm. <laughs> Remy Palma, I remember playing her back in Ateneo. We would always get so frustrated with her demeanor. She really knows how to annoy us yeah, yeah. on the other <laughs> that, side. That is that's the, the right no filter. Yep. That. <laughs> and, and the players have been vocal about yes. it too, right? And she's a good sport about it because she knows. Yes, and off the court, you would not expect that. But on the court, she's a completely different person. Yep, yep. Played for FEU, of course. Don't see any Palma. Is what they are asking for on that hit by Marano. Such a net touch. Oh, definitely. On <laughs> Palma. Best actress award. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortun uh, unfortunately, claro, yung uh, replay natin. Yes. <laughs> for, for Remy, that is. But of course, you want to get the right call yes. here. And F2 Logistics is now at set point. It's De La Cruz serving for the cargo movers. She had three aces a while ago. Sabete. Chance for F2. They go to Casilag. Set back. Marano bumps it. Pero napunta. Que Aiza Maiso Puentillas. Now the bump set of Avi Marano. She was going for that open butt. Her bump set was a little bit too tight on the net, giving, allowing rather, Maiza for that free point. That was so open and clean. Very open. An easy point for Maiza Puntillas. Remy Palma, number one server for the Petrogas Angels. Laxina is back on the floor. And she is in front, in the front row. Mm. We talked about extensions yes. in their previous matchup. This time, they go for another extended set, and Marano able to get the point. Abi Marano with that eight quick attack. We have not seen a lot of those eight quick attacks by Kaf, but Kaf is using that at the right time. Yep. Coach Reg continues to make changes at the latter part of the set. Takoron is on the floor. Marano with a serve. 
Sertonis with a safe pickup. Sabete with the approach. Yes! Sabete, being that veteran player that she is, just touching the hands of the block of F2. You know, dip with these vet teams, you don't need those flashy plays. Mm. Very simple. Dig, set, spike, and I have to give credit to the Angels. They demeanor are very calm during crucial moments. 25 all, Galang. Too long for Ara Galang. And the lead goes to Petrogas. Keep in mind that Petrogas will maximize on this one point lead. Strategic challenge. Exactly. Uh, that, that seemed clear, but Coach Reg doesn't have a timeout anymore. He will give a specific play for the cargo movers. Clean attack. Way over the blockers, nobody touched that one. Unsuccessful as expected. But Coach Rich hoping that her team responds with this play drawn up. Fajardo back sets to Laxina. Maiza Pontilius with a perfect dig and Sabete. Able to get that one in the set for the Petrogas Angels. Give credit to Aiza with that perfect dig. Sabete targeting that zone six. Look at that dig from Aiza. Right in the position. Right place at the right time. And Jonas Sabete not wasting that. And getting Petrogas up two sets to none in this match over the F2 Logistics. New streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app, available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for as low as 149 pesos. Back inside the Santa Rosa Sports Complex in Santa Rosa for this match between F2 and Petrogas. Jamie, at the latter part of set number two, looks like F2 were uh, going to cruise to that set to win, but Petrogas said, not so fast. They took over on that extended set number two. Now, Dip, things got heated when it reached the 20 mark, and it came down to the small details. The F2 logistics are unable to convert their attacks to points where 
um, the Angels are able to stay calm. We did talk about this off air. Whether they're in crunch time, you won't know on their face if they're nervous or not because yeah. they've experienced this many times, been there, done that type of mentality. And you can see the only young player on the court is Barbon. Right, we take a look at the numbers for uh, both teams in that set number two, very close, but one department sticks out for Petro guys. Definitely the attack. You, you only have nine attacks on the side of the F2 Logistics with 18 on the side of the Angels. But you do have six aces mm. on the side of the F2 Logistics. But like I said earlier, F2 needs more firepower on the left wing. We right. need more um, efficiency from Aragala. Right. The Petro guys could have given up easily when their reception got a little bit shaky with yes. those three aces of De La Cruz. But you have high praises on, on the veterans of it. Itong Petro guys, you mentioned that they know what it takes to really get the win for the Angels. I mean, they just have, you know, they look at each other and they already know what to do. I did say this earlier, um, Barbon needs to expect most of the balls mm. to go to her because the wings, they, they are not going to attack, they are not going to serve rather to zone 1 and right. zone 5 who um, are Gretchen Sultanas and Sabeta. Right, baby love Barbon is a baby among her athletes, yes. <laughs> literally because uh, she is a young one in that side of the Angels. But for, uh, I'm sure she is having a great time surrounded by these experienced players. And they are enjoying their time because uh, they are up two sets to nine. But for the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers, we, we saw bright spots in set number two for them. Uh, of course, Don Pangandili Katindik still not suited up or did not see action in that second set. But Aragalang, Jolina de la Cruz, they delivered some points for F2. That's right. And I have to give credit to Andal. She is doing a great job um, filling in for Don. And we have Arce actually in starting this third set. Ethan Arce out of UP will start this one maybe they need that young gun mm. they tried with Bakaron. yeah gotta switch it up you're down two sets so we welcome you all to set number three dip the bianco with jamie la vittoria on call for this match and jaime escalon as our courtside reporter our final game of this thursday triple header we thank you for joining us on a holiday here on Pilipinas Live, One Sports and One Sports Plus. Leading scores for both teams uh, with 10 apiece. De La Cruz with 10 and Musa also with 10. You said dip. Um, Musa already had six points mm. in the first set. You see Chang really outsmarting the blocking of the empty logistics. What do you think should be the biggest adjustment for F2 here in set number three? You need perfect receive. The receive can't be too on the net because Kaf will have a difficult time. But at the same time, it needs to be in that setter's zone. Because if it's too far off the net, Kaf will be unable to set her middle. Yeah. And a quick three to nothing start for Petra, guys. And dip so far in the league, the Petrogas Angels have not lost a set. Yeah. Good that you pointed that out and uh, reminded our viewers that in the past three games, Petrogas is perfect. Nine straight sets in Great this all-Filipino conference and an ace for Janelle Cheng to put them up 4-0. to zero. Fajardo goes to Maranio. Barbon for the pickup. And again, how many times? Just to get a sound effect whenever Remy Palma does that. <laughs> <laughs> that a quick attack, not the strongest, but it's always the reaction for me. It's that grin that she does. And her opponents are not right. smiling to that. I, I challenge uh, the analysts of PVL to find the best sound effect. We need that for Remy Palma only. <laughs> Cheng. So that's your entry right there. The <laughs> <Pulo Panayan. laughs> Cheng, gusto niya sa no, She goes back set to Maizu Pontilias. But saved by F2. De La Cruz. Straight to Barbon. Cheng to Palma. 
Another one like that. And Palma quickly apologizes to De La Cruz as we send this to Jaime Escalon for the support. Jaime? Dipen, Jim, you know it's never easy to lose tight sets like that set number two and Chang Abi had to call, her, call out her team after everyone's heads were down and sabi nga niya, uh, don't let the game affect you. Walang negative thoughts, walang bibitaw. And that's just a great display of leadership from Chang Abi, making sure that everyone's health were high. Now, you can experience great matches like this for in the Filipinas Live app for 149 pesos a month. Let's uh, send this back to the timeout. <laughs> about that girl on your screen, Madanio. Not only leading by example, Dip, but also being that emotional leader that F2 has had. I mean, she's had that role ever since her college days in the salad. She knows that her team needs that boost, that boost of energy. And if there's anyone that can fire up uh, the squad of F2, it's, it's her. Chang Abi yes. Madanio, the captain for the cargo movers. And finally, a point on the board for F2 Logistics here in the third set. Down five points. They do need that spark plug. See substitution here. Alba in for Kaf. <laughs> I saw Alba. <laughs> Alba. About to check in. Pero si De La Cruz was looking at her. Is there a sparker today? <laughs> Alba replaces uh, Kim Fajardo. Coach Reg really taking some risks now because yeah. you won't have two of the same setter dip. All the setters have different styles, so maybe the setting style of Alba will work. Palma scores another point for Petrogas to bring the lead back up to six. Have to give credit yet again to Chang. Just giving her spikers great opportunity, no block. And really maximizing and avoiding the... the Blocking of F2. Mm. Choltones able to up it. Maiza Pontilla straight to Andal. Alba. Originally wounded to Simaranio. It's back with Petrogas. Barbon pumps it. Galang with a good dig. Alba to Laxina. Cheng chooses a bet this time and she scores. Now, what the Angels have that the F2 Logistics need is really patience. You see back-to-back -back sequences, beautiful sequences, rather, by the, the Angels. Just staying calm and not getting irritated. I think that's key. You can see in their demeanor. Biggest lead of the game so far for Petrogas. But that one through for Jolina de la Cruz. Targeting that zone one. Jolina de la Cruz. We also saw uh, Don Makandili Katindig. Her left knee, no? I saw her. I saw her on the sidelines. Parang dira talaga siya. Iba maso dito. We don't want to risk it. it. Yeah. And Andal is also doing a great job. Yeah. Especially that we're still at the early part of uh, the tournament, right? And this is a long tournament. We have 12 teams in the single round robin. Maila Pablo as well. Hasn't suited up for F2. I'm sure she's raring to go back on yes. the court. <laughs> they need her. Laxina. Down it goes for Ivy Laxina. No, not the strongest of attacks, but Ivy Laxina going in that fi uh, zone 5 zone. That down the line. You know, F2 really needs to gain that momentum because they are down six points. Mm. Cheng goes to Musa. Good dig by Alba. Laxina sends it over. Cheng goes to Sabete and Jonah sends it wide. That's right. Idea by Sabete going for that sharp cross court attack. But a lack of wrist action, trying to avoid the block of F2. Sabi ni Coach Jimmy, cut shot. Yep. <laughs> she tried to go for that slice mm. in that rally. Oh, service error for Abby Maranio. It's the errors hurting F2. 
their chances of uh, getting closer here. Alba goes to Laxina. Dug up by Barbon. Sabete. Andal got a touch. That swing, though. That's a great swing by Jonas Sabete. She leaps during that rally. The crowd is alive again. <laughs> Look who is about to check in. Just when we mentioned she can't miss this game against her former team, right? That's right. They need her. And she did not suit up Dip in their last match. Mm. Myla Pablo seeing action for the first time. Maybe, just maybe, nakailang bunot na si Coach Red. Yes. Could be Myla Pablo. This could be the six that will maybe win this third set. I mean, they need to win this match, this third set rather. So their backs against the wall. No room for error. They do need that firepower. I did say this earlier. Aragalan doing a great job, but her attacks are not being converted into points. Oh, Chang with a smart one-two play. But she's going to build up her, her attackers. And then when finally yes. you figure it out, she brings out another weapon of hers. She actually did that three times against the Chameleons mm -hmm. in Ilocos. Very chill setter. You won't you won't see in her face. Alba goes to Pablo. There you go. Myla Pablo getting her first point. Instant impact by Myla Pablo. Announces her entry to the game. And she goes to the service line. Still stretching her arms there. <laughs> Was a champion with Petrogaz. And last year's reinforced conference. That's kept alive. And Dalinars are doing a good job. Cheng Musa has been on point. Cheng really maximizing her middle blockers, running attack, a quick attack. Really looking at her blockers on the other side. 11 points for Rania Musa as we reach this technical timeout. You're still watching us in the PVL All Filipino Conference. And for the, today's V Quick, Myla Pablo tells us on what it was like to face Chang Abi in the UAAP. I'm going to go to the UAAP. I'm going to go to the the Former opponents uh, back in the UAAP now together in the pros. Myla Pablo sharing her thoughts about uh, being blocked by Abby Maranio. Beast mode, Abby. I mean, when she has that game face after getting a point, it's very intimidating mm. to be her opponent. <laughs> I'm sure Pablo is happy now that they are teammates. Baka ayaw mo maging tita. Yeah. Yeah. Game face niya. Meanwhile, uh, Myla Pablo did not play last game. 
And seeing action for the first time already. Getting a point for F2, but their team down by seven points. Because this girl has been exceptional this game. Efficient. Oh, the, you jinxed it. What? Did you say something? You, you jinxed it. Who was exceptional? <laughs> I apologize, Rania. <laughs> no, but uh, kidding aside, her, her attacks. Efficient. Uh, she has been uh, delivering for Petro guys. And most of her of her attacks are on the right pin. I said this again, and Cheng really maximizing and outsmarting the blocks of F2. Alba goes to De La Cruz. And that's a point for Petro guys. That was not over. De La Cruz was called for the interference. So it was a little too tight. Oh, regalo para kay Sultones. We did talk about the first ball of the F2 Logistics. It doesn't need to be a perfect pass. Just make it up and make it a little bit easier for Alba because she's not the tallest of setters. Eight point game, almost an ace. Alba goes back to Jolina. Cheng bumps it. And Maiza Pontilias. That one had Barbon running after it. Alba with a one two, and it works. Um, the scoring with that one-two play, fooling the defense of the Angels. Still a seven-point lead for Petro, guys. They need that momentum. Alba could start with the services here for the cargo movers. Steady receive for Soltones. And another one for Gretchen. You know, she was actually laughing from that lack of wrist action, but dip, a point is a point. Attacking zone five. Racking up the easy points. Everything going their way. 16 to 8. Barbon with a pickup. Cheng goes to Isa Maiza Pontilias. May balik sa F2. Alba goes to Laxina. And that one drops for Ivy Laxina. Medyo binitin pa. So no challenge there for Petr, guys. I like that they're really communicating, right? Yes. To see. You have to be sure. And you only have two challenges. I have to right now can't afford to go back and forth. Nice serve. You have to make a couple of runs. Let's see here. Alba goes to Pablo. That's still alive. Oh! Just short. Little return. Little too short for Jolina de la Cruz, but have to give credit to the side of the Angels. In terms of their counter attack, meaning when the ball gets back on their side, they are able to execute everything perfectly. Dig, set, spike. Nothing, nothing too flashy. We, we did mention this. They are vets. And yeah. Jaime did say that, Coach Timmy, he said it's smooth sailing. Yeah. Because he, he doesn't need to teach anything new. Just maybe they already know what to do. And he was also part of the, the coaching staff, right, for Petro yes. guys. He was the assistant coach. And he knows their tendencies already. The past couple of conferences. Oh, what a tip by Maiza Pontilias. That is actually her first drop ball attack. Andal expecting her go, to go to that down the line. And her approach is not the most explosive approach she's did, but very deceiving for her. Very calculated. Yung... Very calculated. Moves ni Isa Maiza Pontilias. Laxina sits on the bench. She's got eight points. Chola Alvarez enters the game. 
Pablo. Uh. Waking up the, the fans. No one is the back. 30. Aga pa naman. Ten point lead for Petrogas. See back to back unforced errors on the side of the F2 logistics. And the lead is at its biggest at 11 points for the Angels. It's 20 to 9. As we just saw actress Sheila Israel. Enjoying the action here in Santa Rosa. Maranio gets a point for F2. They need that a momentum shift for their squad. Abi Maranio being that emotional leader that they need. But not only being that dip, they really need to execute on their points. Yeah. It's, it's a tough sight to see right now if you're an F2 fan. Your team down by 10. On the verge of losing straight sets. But they keep the ball alive. Cheng. Look at how easy that is for Janelle Cheng. She was player of the game last match, and I did ask her, I mean, how do you stay so calm during these moments? She did mention that being a vet really helps, having that experience. She knows the whole of the defense. Fire zone. She doesn't need to jump, she doesn't need to bend. So chill, so chill. Z Hervasho makes an appearance along with Chi Saib. For the substitution. Petrogas just four points away from winning the match. Alvarez. Still picked up. Oh, Sultan is saving it. And Barbon gives it back to F2. But Arce gets a point for the cargo movers. Arce scoring her first point. That a quick attack. Great effort on the side of the Angels, though, in that, in that rally. That's how hard it is to score against them. Is it a case of a too little too late right now for F2? They're far behind by 10. Alvarez with the serve, 11 to 21. Ooh. <laughs> Just the timing dip of these unforced errors. Not working on the side of F2. This is the third straight out of town match for Petrogas. It looks like they're loving the atmosphere yeah. <laughs> outside of Metro Manila. Yes. <laughs> they went to Batangas, then they went to Ilocos Sur. F2 also was with them in Kandan. Kandon Adder, Ilocos Sur. But that Espina also makes an entry, so a lot of the players right now for uh, Coach Timothy Santo Tomas seeing action. And now's the, now's the time to, to do that. You have the cushion. But that Espina facing a, a lot of former De La Salle Lady Spikers on the other end. Alba sets up the play. Arce has been the recipient of that. Hervasho gets the point. Instant impact by Z Hervasho. And the benefits of having that double substitution dip, Saeed and Z Hervasho, they're coming from the bench. So I'm sure they talk on the side what they need to bring on the court. Damning acrobatic moves yes. to Jonas Sabete, you know. <laughs> I think in another universe she would have been a gymnast. Yes. Combination play does not work. Rania Musa. Side to Espina. They want to give it her. And Dal picks it up. De La Cruz again. Off speed and it drops. It's actually the ball of Rania Musa. That off speed attack by Jelena De La Cruz. Rania Musa always smiling dip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's had a great performance. Yes. I'm sure she is loving what she is doing here. In Santa Rosa. 
that one over for Arce. And Petrogas is at match point. Kocic looking a bit frustrated. She has used a lot of her substitutions here, giving her players chances, but too many unforced errors. And just the timing as well. Yeah. Her Vasho. Espina picks it up. She goes for the attack, and she finishes this one. And the Petrogas Angels still perfect on their run here in the second All-Filipino Conference, winning this one in straight sets over F2. Team effort by the Angels, the veteran team. That swing. Espina said, I know it was out, but I want to get my point. Yep. This is your only chance. <laughs> You have one left. And uh, Petrogas Angels take this one in three sets. And they go up to four and zero. Relive this game and all PVL games anytime, anywhere on the Filipinas Live app. Available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. Our best player of the game, Rania Musa, is with our very own Jaime Ascalon. Jaime, take it away. Dip and Jamie with me right now is our best player of the game, Rania Musa, and the rest of the Petrogas Angels. First of all, Rania, congratulations. Ang unang tanong ko, bakit parang ayaw mo pa umupo dyan at ayaw mo pa magpa-interview kanina? Parang bigla na bigla ka. Hindi po ako. <laughs> Hindi po ako naniniwala sa nangyayari. Gusto ko lang po manalo yung team namin. Yun lang po. At makatulong sa team, syempre. Alam niyo Rania, 12 straight sets na nga na ipanalo niyo. 3-0 sa out of town game sa Batangas, sa Iloko Sur at sa Laguna. Ano ba for you yung main ingredient niyo so far sa season na to? Ano yung main ingredient niyo bakit hindi pa kayo natatalo ng sets sa season na to? Uh, sa so team ko bukas yung goal po namin. Syempre, as a team gusto namin manalo per game and syempre kinaghihirapan namin yung lahat kasi lahat ng teams is magagaling. Rania, I'm sure may mga gusto ka batiin. Sino mga gusto mo batiin? Uh, binabati ko po yung family and friends ko, which is, ano, Rania Musa dapat. Uh, Musa and Magsumbol family. And thank you po sa mga supporters po namin na Petro Gasco. Thank you. And there you have it, our best player of the game, Rania Musa. Dip and Jamie. Thank you, Jaime. And there you have it, a very low-key, humble Rania Musa with that performance, uh, she couldn't believe it, but we saw how well she played for the Petrogas Angels. Very jolly Rania Musa scoring 10 of 20 attempts. And I have to give credit to the Angels' team effort, the vets doing their job, playing their roles the right way. Chang really outsmarting the blocking of the F2 Logistics with Ivy Latina being number one in blocking. She, I believe, Latina did not get a lot of kill blocks compared yeah. to her previous um, games because Cheng was avoiding her. Right, and uh, General Cheng had her moments, but really she made, and she continues to make her teammates shine in their attacks. Uh, 
for Petrogas. Again, Rania Musa finishing with 11 points. Jonas Sabete also able to get a lot of those uh, attacks, scoring 11 as well. And Sultones and Palma with 9 apiece. And a straight set win for Petrogas. We take a This is uh, one of the bright spots for them in this match. Our games continue. We go back to Manila, to Metro Manila, uh, at the Phil, Phil Sports Arena in Pasig. It's Farm Fresh versus Signal, and then Jerflor versus PLDT. And Petro, guys, will see action again against the Cheritigo crossovers. And that does it for our out-of-town coverage here in Santa Rosa Sports Complex. For Jaime Escalon, my partner, Jamie LaVittoria.